All right, I'm gonna call this the Eye of the Storm. There were some huge names, huge moves yesterday, huge moves, huge names this morning, and now it's trickling in a little bit. There's still stuff on the horizon, like for example, a Jack Eichel trade, who knows when that'll happen. But let's talk about some of the names that have trickled in. There are some Canadian connections in here. Toronto Maple Leafs signing Michael Bunting to a two-year deal at about 900K. Uh, they need left wing depth badly. He played a little bit with the Arizona Coyotes and was good for that little bit. And he also played for Team Canada at the World Championships. There is a Sault Ste. Marie Greyhound uh, connection here for the Leafs and Dubas. But it wasn't just that Bunting played for the Sioux Greyhounds and Kyle Dubas. Dubas discovered this guy playing in AAA. Uh, it's actually a pretty cool story. I wrote about it in 2014. Uh, he couldn't afford to play AAA. He was playing AA. Then he went to AAA for just a little bit. He got discovered, gets drafted to the OHL or signed to the OHL, and now he's in the NHL. The rest is history. New Jersey Devils signing Jonathan Bernier. That's not a shock. Two years, not a shock. $4.125 million per season. That I was very shocked by. That, that is not much less than Bernier was making with the Toronto Maple Leafs when they were trying to make him their starter a few years ago. Now, Bernier has been excellent with the Detroit Red Wings, who have not been excellent at all. So the Devils are hoping Bernier can be a great complement to an already great goalie in Mackenzie Blackwood. It could pay off, but... Oh, that dollar amount really threw me and a lot of people off. Here's a dollar amount that didn't throw anyone off uh, because of how high it was. Tampa Bay Lightning getting Zach Bogosian back. He won the first of the two back-to-back -back cups with them. Three years, $850,000 per year. He made a million dollars with the Leafs this past season, but he decided, no, no, that winning thing was, was more fun. So he's going to go back to Tampa, and he's going to play in the sun, and the tax, and the winning, and you know all that. It's a great situation for him. San Jose Sharks making a little bit of noise. They're getting Andrew Cogliano one times one. Uh, easy, low bet deal for one of the league's most notoriously healthy uh, players, and we all know he's got speed and has scored in the past. James Reimer going back to the San Jose Sharks as well. The Leafs traded him there at the 2016 trade deadline, and he only played a cup of coffee as the San Jose Sharks made it all the way to the 2016 Stanley Cup Final, but he played really well during that cup of coffee, and I assume he saw enough of California to go, yes, no, this is actually quite nice. This will do. Also, Jared Tenorti joining the New York Rangers, a huge enormous defenseman for them. I don't have much to say about Jared Tenorti, but I look at the Rangers and the way their season ended, and I'm thinking Tenorti was signed for Tom Wilson, and Tom Wilson alone. The Montreal Canadiens getting Cedric Paquette, uh, 950 grand against the cap. Paquette uh, won the Stanley Cup with the Tampa Bay Lightning uh, the first time around, like Bogosian did, and the Montreal Canadiens. Um, adding another soldier to... They're kind of patented uh, depth in the lineup. They like their big guys, they like their bruisers, and Paquette can do both. So, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends. I speed wobbled there at the end. But, it, man, it's four videos already today. I can't wait to see what happens. Eichel trade? I would really like that.